Soundpeats Air 3 Deluxe HS with LDAC. Soundpeats Air 4 Lite with LDAC. Soundpeats Air 4 with lossless aptX and ANC. And my favorite headphones, the OG Soundpeats Air 3 Deluxe in a little silicon case because I take them with me almost everywhere and I use them a ton. Why do I prefer the old headphones? Well, I did a whole blog post on my website outlining it. It's really, really short, really, really succinct for you guys. You guys should go read it and I'll have a link for it where you guys can do so. But essentially, depending upon what your needs are from a pair of headphones, the newest headphones from Soundpeats might not be the headphones that fulfill those needs. As someone that has the option to choose between all of these headphones, you guys see the option that I choose. And I have been using these headphones now for almost two years. The battery in the headphones is starting to degrade a little bit, but these are like some of my favorite headphones ever. And for some reason, the Soundpeats Air 4 just don't capture that same kind of magic for me. I, I don't know why, they just don't have the same kind of appeal. Even though I really like the Soundpeats Air 4 and I think that they're great headphones at their price point. I think that the move to LDAC and the Soundpeats Air 4 Lite really, LDAC is great, but LDAC is a double-edged sword, especially because of the decreases that you get to battery life and the decreases that you get to range and even like connectivity performance in highly trafficked areas. I just find Aptex to be better. I did a whole video kind of outlining Aptex versus LDAC and kind of why some of this stuff doesn't matter. I'll have a link for it for you guys up here. But either way, I think that Soundpeats is putting out a ton of headphones, a ton of good quality headphones. I really like the Soundpeats Engine 4. I think they're the best sounding headphones that Soundpeats has ever made. And probably the second or the third best pair of headphones that I've ever used in regards to sound quality. At the same time, I don't want to see Soundpeats fall victim to just cramming features into headphones that are ultimately kind of extraneous, unneeded features that are being put in for the sake of marketing. With the launch of the Soundpeats Air 4 and the Air 4 Lite, I am beginning to kind of feel like they might start going down that road of just adding features to headphones for marketing's sake. Not that that makes products worse or better, but something about the OG Soundpeats Air 3 Deluxe, it stole my heart. You guys should go read the article up on my blog. I'll have the link for it. Peace.